Hi there. This video is sponsored by no one. I've seen some of the big YouTube channels I like start inserting product plugs and entire commercials into their videos. And while they can certainly do anything they want with their videos, and I'm sure they're well paid for it, I hope I don't get to the point where I put paid product plugs into my videos. This YouTube channel is a hobby and any product plugs on this channel are because I like them and I want to put them there, not because I'm being paid for it. Having said that, it's time to play some more with this Stargazer cast iron skillet, which they sent me as a promotional gift and which I've enjoyed quite a bit, but they're still not paying me to do this video. Anyway, like a lot of people, I liked it when mom would make a box of rice a to go with supper. And when I found out how easy it was to make this dish entirely from scratch, I had to give it a try. Since the weather is getting hot and sticky, it's good to make a dish like this that's fast, easy, and delicious. And it can be done in only about half an hour from start to finish. As I grew up, I could never figure out what those long stringy bits in rice a roni were, even though it said roni in large letters on the box. And if you can think of an easier way to break up pasta without making a mess all over the place, please let me know. We add a cup of jasmine rice to our pasta, and then we prepare the spices used in this dish. This is our usual salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then we add coriander, turmeric, and celery salt. A lot of processed foods use celery salt because of the unique flavor it adds to the food. Now we chop up a small onion, and we're ready to bring out a 10 inch cast iron skillet. We heat the stove top to just under medium heat, and after a few minutes, it's time to start cooking. We add in the rice and pasta and stir it around to coat it with the butter. Then we add the onions and stir fry everything until the onions are soft. At this point we add our spices and mix it all together. And finally, we add some dried parsley, which is mandatory with almost every rice dish. Now we stir in just under three cups of chicken broth, and we bring it to a boil. Now we bring it to the boil. Given this is cast iron, that probably won't take very long. By the way, notice this is another rice dish. And also, this is a pasta dish that you can make without tomato sauce. And I love tomato sauce, but it's another way to use your pasta without having to drown it in sauce. And there we are. Now we just cover it, lower the heat, and simmer. And 20 minutes later, our homemade rice and pasta is finished and ready to serve. I guess that was the dinner bell. We stir everything together and we can serve it right away, hot and steaming. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching.